Hey guys, I'm at the horse farm here doing a little field work, literally, uh, back in this Ford F-250. Uh, seems to be draining the battery. So that's why we had uh, the monitors not complete last time because it was completely dead. So every time they have to start it, they have to jump start it. Now, while it sat at my place, it had no issues. As you can see here, right now, the battery is at 10.4 volts. And just a quick check of amp draw. Zero the meter. Hook it around the negative, and I'm not seeing any draw at the moment. So what we're going to do is fire it up, bring it over to the shop, see if we can reproduce the problem. I'm going to try using my Rockford pocket power jump starter here. You can see a review of this on Ergo's South Main Auto Repair channel. It's let me down once, so let's see if it can redeem itself. Let's see here. Key is to have a good connection. Get the green light. Green light. All right, let's try to boost this thing. Sweet. It, it worked like a charm. So these guys did not work. This thing did. Well, it redeemed itself on that one. Last time I had a Chevy S10, this did not work and the jumper cables did, so I can't really explain that. So let's do a quick check the voltage again. So the charging system works great. 14.5. Now let's put it back on the amp, amp scale, zero it out, and see if the battery is accepting a charge. Yeah. Three amps. The battery's shot. So, not surprising, but there is no parasitic amp draw. It's just, uh, see, it's not even accepting a charge. If it was fully discharged, the alternator should be putting out, you know, 20 amps, but they were only getting like 2.9 amps going through the battery, so that's the call. So I'll get a get a new battery for this thing and we'll pop it in. Alright, back to the rusty trusty Ford truck. Got a brand new battery installed. I've had good luck with Napa batteries, that's what I use, I don't know about you guys. But uh voltmeter plugged in. We're at 12.6, fresh from the store. Now, before we start it up, let's just make sure we don't have a parasitic draw at the moment. So, zero the ammeter, clamp it around. Yep, looks like we're good. So, uh, all we have to do now is fire it up and just double check our charging system voltage. Let's do that. And grab the key or beer back. Alright, here we go. Looking at the voltmeter. Sweet. Current's going into the battery right now. See, we got 14 amps going to the battery. So, uh, 
is definitely taking a charge, so we're all set here. Call this one a fix.